There's more than just Bitcoin. Blockchains have evolved, and it's important to be familiar with the different types. Blockchain capabilities have seen significant upgrades over the years. From Bitcoin spawned countless derivatives aiming to reimagine the system. Bitcoin itself is what's called a proof of work blockchain, alongside others like Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash. The work is done by the nodes, which are the computers tracking the historical record of the chain. Nodes race to solve a difficult cryptographic puzzle, like a math problem. Whichever node solves the puzzle first will have the power to validate all the new transactions on the network since the last validation. The time between validations is known as a block. All transactions are recorded in blocks and validated one by one, as if they were a chain. Hence the term blockchain. The problem with Bitcoin's proof of work is that it's very energy intensive and can't easily improve its speed or scalability making it unable to be a solution for large-scale operations requiring millions of transactions per day or even per minute. An upgrade was needed which didn't require the energy or time it takes to solve one of Bitcoin's hashes, which are the cryptographic puzzles we were talking about before. A system was devised in which users of a blockchain could take their crypto tokens and use them to help validate blocks. This is called proof of stake. Anyone who commits their tokens to validating the blockchain could be selected as the validator of the next block. Usually, the amount of tokens you have relates to how likely you are to be selected. The more tokens staked, the higher the chance. In many proof-of-stake systems, all who take part in the validation process, which is called consensus, will earn rewards in the native token of that blockchain. Some proof-of-stake blockchains you may know are Cardano and Ethereum, which has transitioned to proof-of-stake with Ethereum 2.0.